Hey man, guess what? I just bought the world's biggest gummy bear on eBay. Yeah? Yeah. The second biggest gummy bear in the world. Pretty cool, yeah? Yeah, of course. It's the third biggest gummy bear in the world. I just heard about wow, it. Wow, I can't believe I have the fourth the biggest gummy bear, bear, biggest bear in the world. The world is pretty world. impressive. The biggest gummy bear in the entire planet. planet. I literally have the... Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Bob, and today I wanted to talk about something kind of interesting. <laughs> That's better. Speaking of better, quality is a part of life that's important to us. Ranking second highest in US and international surveys right below convenience, it's an aspect of life we value in audio quality, socks, and food that is essential to the modern day. We decide what is quality based on ingredients and overall taste. Some of the most expensive dishes in the world are tiny but excellent. My microphone is strawberry flavor. America has been the leading creator of high fructose corn syrup, sugar, and salt in plastic packages ever Everywhere. The bar has gotten a bit lower for quality. However, if you get a 10-piece McNugget and one of them is missing, you would probably notice. But what about a bag of 22 chips that started selling 21? Would you notice then? Yes, I absolutely would. No, you, no, you don't. Yes, I do. Hey, check it out. I'm in your ear. Yeah, yeah, check this out. There was a whole Azarisi in your ear. What the? That's a good segue. Right? I found a car battery. You should really clean your ears better. On any given day, 50 out of 300 Americans eat fast food anytime, sometimes, usually, always. 40% of Americans eating it pretty much daily. This doesn't even account for pre-packaged frozen pizzas and TV dinners. I'm just talking like... McDonald's. Fun fact, by the way, a guy named Gary Thomas invented TV dinners after noticing his cool train had 260 tons of leftover Thanksgiving turkey. He saw he could package the remains into tiny little plastic trays. This is what we do now. America, baby. With how much we're eating this stuff on a daily basis, noticing one Dorito missing in your bag is just not something that happens that much. Or at least not anymore. This kind of thing has been on my mind for a while, and I think I just need to say it. Double stuffed Oreos are basically regular Oreos at this point. There is no way this is double stuff. It's the same thing with the Cadbury egg, which has documented evidence on tape proving that they've been shrinking in the past 20 years. They just are. And I think deep down we all know that. Back in 2007, which was 16 years ago, the Cadbury egg website used to say, our Cadbury eggs haven't gotten smaller, you've just gotten bigger. A theory that your typical can Candy enthusiast uncle could debunk in five minutes. Imagine if you kept a Cadbury egg in the freezer for 14 years and then bought one at the store today to see how much it's changed. That's pretty much what this guy did. BJ Novak, one of the lead writers for The Office, also known as Ryan Howard, the guy who started the fire. Ryan started the fire! Went on the Conan O'Brien show to talk about how Cadbury eggs have been slowly shrinking since the 90s. He held on to a Cadbury egg from 10 years ago, statistically proving that they are definitely shrinking. It feels like they get 5% smaller every couple years. Oreos are being slightly less stuffed. Reese's cups went down a cup size. Sorry. And Cadbury eggs are soon going to be minuscule, genetically tiny eggs from a tiny chicken. It is literally the most important thing happening right now, and we really need to talk about I'm kidding. We have so many problems. Also, there was a small study done by a math teacher in 2013 demonstrating with undeniable proof that double stuffed Oreos are actually only around 1.85% more stuffed than a typical Oreo. Mega stuff was only found to be 2.68 times more stuffed back then, so a little over two and a half. And that study was 10 years ago to the date. You know, Subway actually had a lawsuit over something like this. When their 12 inch subs were found out to only be 11, a random dude in Chicago asked for $5 million and damages. He did not win. The evidence was pretty damning. I think it's still happening. Nobody cares. And rightfully so. But it does say something about the consumer market and how we buy things. How easy it is to not realize that our products are changing over the long term. And back in 2012, I was inclined to believe this, but I kind of shrugged it off. I figured that maybe I forgot what regular Oreos look like and I was just complaining, but the rate of shrinking really does seem to be accelerating. And they just look like regular Joe Oreos, you know? And I know it seems like I'm just talking about Cadbury eggs and Oreos, but this is happening to everything.
I know some of this sounds kind of silly, but I do have some evidence to support my rambling. Similar studies have also been done on chocolate bars. Cadbury's Easter Bunny on Retainer also makes chocolate bars that despite being the same price, are being manufactured with 20 grams of less chocolate every few years. Not to mention, a lot of chip companies are doing this as well. Doritos were found to have five fewer chips this year for the same price, basically an ounce less. Reese's are now a tenth of an ounce lighter than they were last year. Hershey Kisses bags are multiple ounces smaller than before, if you'd like to compare. An eyeball weighs an ounce. It's kind of like if your eyes shrunk 10% over the course of eight months and kept doing that for the span of three years. I don't wanna. According to the UK Office of National Statistics, more than 2,500 products increased in price and over a thousand reduced in size. The two food groups being studied are candy and crisps. Chips. The studies from the UK, but I'm American, so. Chips, because you guys are weird. I mean, you guys call cookies biscuits. Biscuits are biscuits. In the United States, a public interest group found that between 2015 and 2018, the sizes of chips and crackers decreased by an average of 6.3%. What the hell is that? The New York Times found thousands of products that have shrunk in the past decade, a lot of them increasing in price at the same time they're shrinking. Chocolate is one of the most affected categories. It's something that experts call Shrinkflation. It's an idea that as a cost-saving measure, we must shrink the candy little by little. The reduction in size was as much as 20% in the past five years. It's also happening to various cleaning supplies like toilet paper and soap for your dishes. Shrinking everything to compete with the growing inflation of the economy in a pretty sneaky way. You really start to notice when you see how much candy companies have been experimenting lately. Candy companies do all kinds of weird stuff now. And I could say it's to cover up the truth, but it's probably just that cherry cola Oreos and cookie pie Pop Oreos popcorn probably just did really well in focus groups. It's just a coincidence. Probably. And the Reese's company has completely gone insane. They have completely lost their mind. Reese's cups filled with pretzels, Reese's pieces, potato chips, car batteries. Not to mention I still hear Will Arnett's Bojack Horseman passive aggressively forcing me to buy a Reese's cup in my dreams every night. These machines wrap 1300 chocolates Per minute. But you might be asking, why should I actually care about candy and chips getting smaller and lower in quantities per bag? Why does shrinkflation actually matter? What's the point of complaining about Reese's cups and soap? Honestly, maybe it's the fact that if something as trivial as this could be happening under our noses for years, what else are they hiding? Maybe this is actually about the more important things in life we should be focusing our energy on. Maybe any real anger about this would be projecting. These companies never make a press release whenever it shrinks. It just happens under the table. And some companies like Cadbury will even lie about it and say it's not happening when it is. Because no one actually cares that your eggs are 5% smaller this year. Why lie about it? You're saving money. It's fine, and I think it's better to be honest about it than pretend it isn't happening. If this weren't about candy, what would it be about? Politicians? Billionaires? You could fill in the blanks yourself. If I'm not just talking about candy, then what am I talking about? Who are the big people right now that are lying about something that we all know isn't true? <clears throat> but at least when the package says mini, I know about it. An adorable. But you know the worst thing about this, and I might get in trouble for saying this, but the truth is, these companies have been secretly putting- Oh. Huh. It's a cease and desist from the Hershey Company, Pringles, and the entirety of Sweden. Okay. Cool. Um. Good vibes. I have to talk to a lawyer. I kind of want to try it. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I do want to try it. I eat the same thing every day. I eat the same thing too. We don't try new things enough. We should really try something new. I agree. We should try something new. We're dead now.